Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Who's New at Lou's Zoo by Joanne M. Dickinson and illustrated by Lauren Sparks. This book was published by Two Sweet Peas Publishing in 2022. Hi, my name is Lou, and I'm an alpaca. My friends and I live in something humans call a neighborhood. I have always wanted to be a zookeeper in my own zoo. And now that I have so many great friends, I call our neighborhood my zoo. In this story, you will meet my wonderful and loyal friends from many different places. And you will learn some fun facts about each of them. A new guest is coming to Lou's Neighborhood Zoo. Lou and the others are excited to see who this next guest will be. I must start planning a party so everyone can meet each other, Lou exclaims. We want them to feel welcome and accepted by all the animals. Who do you think this mysterious new guest will be? Peter the Chatty Parrot asks Gage the Glorious Gorilla. I wonder if they will have beautiful colors like me, or what will they eat, or what will their name is, or where they will stay. I'm wondering that too, Gage tells Peter. Gage, the glorious gorilla, has been at the zoo for many years, and he is not interested in discovering who his new neighbor might be but he would like to see if they are young or old like him. Mickey the Meek Monkey is a bit more curious, trying to guess whether the new guest would be small like him or much larger. Mickey worries that he and the other animals might feel the new guest won't fit into their new neighborhood. Then Wally the Loyal Walrus says, I would like to know if the new guest is furry or hairless like me. Also, do you imagine that our new guest can swim as I do? Alvin, the friendly alligator, has a question for Wally. Do you suppose our new guest will be mean or nice like me? He adds, I always try to make new guests feel welcomed and liked. After all, I'm an alligator, so others always assume I must be mean. But I'm not. Kimo, the shy koala, inquires of her neighbor, Gina, the gentle giraffe. What do you predict? Will the new guest be fearless or shy like me? Gina advises, don't worry, Kimo. I'm sure they will be a great neighbor. But I would love to know if the new guest is short or maybe tall like me. Henrietta, the happy hippo, is also interested in learning more. She muses, could the new guest be slender or perhaps stout like me? She mentions to Lou, I have room for our guest at my place if you don't have a home for them. Lou responds that he is already preparing a new home in the zoo for the new guest. That makes Henrietta even more eager to discover which animal would be getting the new neighbor. Zelda, the stylish zebra, suggests to rip the black rhino. Is it possible that the new guest will have stripes? Rip Rip replies, we won't find out until they arrive. Zelda remarks, I love my beautiful black and white stripes, and it would be great if the guest had lovely stripes like me. Rip, the black rhino, ponders, am I the one who will be getting a new neighbor? And does the new guest run fast or maybe walk slow, like me? Ellie, the playful elephant, asks Rip, Do you expect they will sleep all day or play at night like me? Rip answers Ellie, I wish I knew. Let's ask them when they arrive. Now Callie, the colorful chameleon, has also become very curious. She tells her roommate, Cassia, it would be nice if the new guest could change its colors like us. 
I bet they can, declares Cassia. If so, maybe they will become our new neighbor. All the zoo animals agree they are excited to meet their new guest, regardless of who it is. And Lou is nearly ready for the party to begin, in honor of the new mystery guest. Can you guess who it is? The next day a truck arrives and out comes Martin the Mandrel. He is the new guest. Martin is very shy at first, entering the zoo with caution as he looks around. As a newcomer, Martin has no idea what to expect from the other animals. He worries, will they think I'm mean or scary because of the way I look? What if they don't like me? But right away, Zelda observes admiringly. Look at him. He is gorgeous. His fur has a pattern that looks just like my stripes. Kimo comments to Mickey. He looks scary but has kind eyes. Gina greets Martin and reassures him. Don't be afraid. We have all come to welcome you, and we can't wait to become good friends. All the animals come out to greet and welcome Martin. Soon, he finds himself smiling and saying hi to all his new neighbors. He's already relaxing and starting to believe he will love his new home. Just then, Lou announces to all the animals, Let the party begin in honor of our new zoo neighbor, Martin! That night, just before falling asleep, Martin smiles and says to himself, I think I'm going to like it here. Hi, Martin is it? My name is Winston the Wise Owl. Do you think Lou will let me join the neighborhood too? The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow my page for new episodes posted daily.